we had huge success last night and I caught the elephant hawk moth. It's the 28th of June and I just want to build a picture for you about where I am apart from being battered by all these moths being attracted to my vapour lamp. I'm in Dorset and I've got lots of grass fields all the way around me and this is where I'm hoping to catch the elephant hawk moth which is the number three on my hit list of nine hawk moths uh, permanent residents in the UK. It's, uh, it's only half past one and I can already see two elephant hawk moths behind me and a collection of really beautiful other moths scooting around really big white ones and pepper moths and in fact I've never seen so much moth activity this is really really exciting and the other thing that I've done which is different today is I've put my mercury vapor bulb in front of the dust sheet there's about a meter space between it and it seems to be working really well before I had it pinned up there to the top but the light bounces off the dust sheet and everything around there can see this light from miles around so I'll show you the hawk moth now. He really is beautiful. And a little bit smaller than the other hawk moths that we've caught. In fact, he is the smallest hawk moth that we've caught. but probably the most beautiful. And you can see it's striped there down the thorax. Instead of having little little feathers, a moth is covered in scales, a bit like a butterfly, and that carries the colour. So when the moth is old, those scales fall off. And then of course their wings become transparent. Ah, oh, that's a really good shot there. You can get an idea of how bright that pink is. Fuchsia pink is exactly what it is. That is really lovely. And he feeds on honeysuckle and anything with nectar. What I've discovered is that although this elephant hawk moth would seem very rare, last night it was the most common moth that I caught. And last night was perfect because there was a little bit of dampness in the air and I caught seven of these incredible creatures. They often start flapping their wings like this when they're about to fly away. They warm up their muscles. And you can see there, it's got the most fabulous pink stripe down its thorax. And it really is the most colourful of hawk moths. And it's called the elephant hawk moth because as a caterpillar, it's got a, a long elephant-like trunk as, uh, as its nose. And she's away. <laughs>